Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, champagne and cold water. An 85th birthday celebration. Wow. That says so much to many people. It's a milestone. It's wonderful. But it puts dread and fear into other people's hearts. They don't like getting old. My mom celebrated her 85th birthday about five years ago and she chose to have a champagne breakfast at my house. Now, there were numerous guests there, but the guest of honour was my mom. Dressed to the night, just like Queen Elizabeth. She was glowing. Then, the other guests besides my husband, my children, my grandchildren, there were 25 people all told. My mom chose to have her, her cousin Frank and his wife Dolly, both very close to 90. And of course, Paul's parents, also close to 90, Oma and Opa. There were my brothers and my two sisters-in-law and all the kids running around. It was chaotic. Well, we started off with breakfast and Uncle Frank, who loved talking about his Second World War experiences and hard of hearing, as all the others were. Very hard of hearing. And he started talking at the top of his voice. Opa was the victim. Opa had very bad experiences during the Second World War. He was actually imprisoned in a concentration camp. So he didn't really want to hear about this. But he put on a, a sort of a polite look and he pretended to be listening. And Uncle Frank got more and more animated. Next minute, crash, he knocked over one of my crystal glasses. Auntie Dolly, Frank, I told you not to drink so much. It was a bit embarrassing. But as an aside, Uncle Frank very, very kindly replaced my glass with one from Checkers, just up your street. <laughs> then there was Auntie Dolly, who, at the top of her voice, as all the, the older people did, told seedy jokes. <laughs> she gossiped about everybody and asked very personal questions. Then there was Omar. Omar couldn't speak English at all. She's Dutch. So she spoke, um, call it Afrikaans, peppered with Dutch. And the moment she saw you couldn't understand her, she switched to high Dutch, then everybody was lost. She grabbed hold of the celeb at the party and she was talking about healthy food, not healthy food, the tea and the coffee that I serve, she's sure that I put chlorine in it because it doesn't taste right. Of course, my sisters-in-law were also college, but um, 
one sister-in-law was very, very polite. She just ummed and awed. The other sister-in-law never said one word. I could luckily escape to the kitchen when it really got bad. Now it was toast time. My brother stood up, made a toast to my mom. She was in her element with Happy Parade. We sang Happy Birthday. And then we resumed talking. But now my sister-in-law, Gretchen, who's German, with the matching German tact, stood up Somebody here must remind me to shoot myself when I get to 80. Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen.